Now, we're not just talking about the male gender. We're not just talking about it in patriarchal terms. But what we're talking about is a place of maturity. Are you understanding what I'm saying? And I want you to notice the one thing that defines this place called fathers, or this place called mothers, this place called maturity, the one thing that characterizes it, and the text says this twice, you know him. In, in other words, watch this now. When we step into this place where we're no longer little children, where we're no longer young men, but now we are fathers. Somebody shout the mature ones. We are now the mature ones. And what and the thing that characterizes our life is this, right? The thing that characterizes our life is this. We're no longer focused on sin consciousness because we are firmly persuaded that greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We've come to a place where, listen, where we're not ever learning, ever learning and not coming to the knowledge of the truth, but that, not, that knowledge of the truth has now settled within our hearts and we begin living by that knowledge. We're, we're no longer consumed with these cycles of sin and temptation and falling and we fall down and we get up and we're no longer trapped in that place in Romans 7 where what we want to do we can't do, what we don't do we do do. We're no longer doing those things anymore because we finally hit our spiritual we finally caught cadence with the Holy Ghost. We finally got to a place where we have no more excuses for the lapses between our knowledge and our action. We finally got to the place where we're not blaming anybody else for where we are. We're not, we finally got to the place where we're no longer whipping out the church hurt card in order to not connect to the things of God. We finally got to the place where it doesn't matter if our spouses never get saved or not. We're still going. Watch this now. And, and it's not my brand name's encouraging me. 